guys what's up on telegram i promised you all that i would start talking about ict's time macros and i also said i i i know you guys know what i said uh i don't use them i use my own time macros that i derived using the doubling theory uh they work just fine okay uh but i wanted to simplify things and show you guys how you guys can use the different time macros to basically inc increase your strike rate okay all right so in this video what we what we will be talking about is we will be talking about the 950 to 1010 macro now how do i know these macros i saw it on twitter and i was like oh shit okay you know what the guy started to talk about macros so okay fine you know what let me just write, write them down so i wrote, so i wrote down all of the macros that i found on twitter and uh, i already have an understanding of them i don't need to watch any video to have an understanding of them uh so yeah so here it goes all right so in this video what we will be talking about is we'll be talking about the 950 to 1010 macro okay now this 950 to 1010 macro it's quite important actually because for the indices 930 yeah, 930 gives us what? It gives us your manipulation. So with the open, there's like an, an, an unnecessary move going into a POI and then price just runs off the other direction. Okay. So by having that 950 to 1010 interval of time, you now have the benefit of seeing what 930 actually did. Okay. And as a result, you'll be able to make concise decisions or proper, better decisions. Okay. So if you were to divide today's 9.30, not 9.30, 9.50, with 10.10 and 10.10 rather, over there, we can see we had a nice run up. Okay. Now, what is the, what is the extent of these moves? That's the biggest question. Right? So it's liquidity or rebalancing, right? So if you get this macro somewhere down here, then you're probably getting the low of the day or the low of the session. So that depends on your understanding of where and when the low or the high of the session or the high of any high or low of any time interval can form. Okay. What is the main thing that we're looking at? So you're looking at that 950 open. Okay, 950 open. You are then looking for SNT divergence, OB creation. Or you're going to look for reaccumulation, redistribution. Okay, redistribution. That's all that you're going to be looking for, either either or. Okay. Here, right, look at this carefully. I need to see now what is my potential drawn liquidity. Now, for me personally speaking, uh, this is unfortunately something I cannot go into a uh, great detail. Right, so for me, I'll be basically looking at this here. Okay, so if that is my drawn liquidity, I know that if I look at this price action here, I can see that we redistributed from there and then we closed above. So all I'm looking for now is for price to draw back into this old area of redistribution and I'm gonna go long now. Can I trust my stop loss to be down here? Yes, I can. Why? Because the drawn liquidity is up. Yep. So I can do this. It's as simple as that. But first of all, the main, main thing is I need to see if we have SMT divergence. So me personally, I'm looking at the dollar index. Yeah. Personally, I'm looking at the dollar index. Double click. If you can hear my Discord notification, sorry about that. Here, can you see how actually, yeah, over here, can you see how when we came into this, okay, when we came into this, we had the benefit of hindsight, meaning we can see what's over here. So over here, can you see how we had a, what? Can you see it? Lower low. While this guy made a higher low. Yeah, so we already had that bullish SMT divergence. And that's the buy. It is as simple as that. Simple as that. 
Okay. Now, if you were to look at another day, so let's look at some examples, right? Let's look at yesterday's price action. So yesterday's price action, that would be over here, right there. Okay. Let's look at 9.50 and let's look at 10.10. 10. There. Okay. Over here, let's look for S&P divergence. Yeah, we got a lower low. And then we have a higher low. So that is SMT divergence, right? Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. If I just look at this price, if I see this, we reacted, we formed a down close inside of this value gap and volume imbalance. Price then violated it, telling me that, okay, you know what? We are going to reaccumulate inside here. So what I can do now is I can simply buy, keep my stop loss below the down close. And what am I going to use for my targeting? Okay, here's what. You see this SMT range, right? This one. You're going to take your fib, do this, and you're going to do that. Okay. You can also do this here or this here, 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 here. All right. And you can simply do either one standard deviation or two standard deviations. Now, before any of you are complaining in the comment section saying, yo, it's ICTs, blah, blah, blah. Hell no. <laughs> I've been using this for the past two years. Okay. It's all there in the public journal. All right. So that's a setup over there for this macro. Okay. Let's look at another one. So let's go to, yesterday was Monday. Yeah, let's go here. This is Friday. So Friday is price action. If you just take a look at it, what can we see? Oh, it was hella choppy. That's, that, that's no problem. So let's look at 950. Right there. Then we look at 1010. Right here. Okay. What's up? Here's what's up. I'm looking for that SMT divergence first. Okay, now I need that needs to be there. No SMT, no trade. All right. Okay. Here, price is jumping up. Okay, cool. Price is going down there. We go up there. So we have a what? Lower high. Higher high. Cool. Now I need to see price forming a what? Either an area of a redistribution for me to redistribute from or I need to see price forming a bearish POI. Okay. On this time frame here, can you see how this here and this here, this wick, that wick is a gap. This guy went into the wick and ran higher. So this wick is an area of redistribution. You can see a short here. Okay, you can simply show, show short over there. Okay, let's look at Thursday. So on Thursday, I believe it's over here. Right? So on Thursday, if you look at 950, and if you look at 1010, what can I see? Okay. Now, what was the first step? The first step is SMT divergence. Yeah. I'm going to get it all index again. Okay. Before we entered 9, 950, do we have any SMT anywhere else? Uh, no, we don't. So when we make this high, when we take out this high right there, we have SMT there. There we go. Okay. Having seen that, yeah, having seen that, all I need is for price to now start breaking down. How? Here's how. Okay, see how we have this gap here. All right, we have this gap right there. This wick formed a move down and then a move up, a rejection up. So that's a reaction. This is now an old area of reaccumulation. Okay, when price trades down and trades through it, what are you going to do? You're going to go short right there. So when this up close goes back inside, press sell. Okay, press sell. Uh, projections. How? Take this low, see this high, low high? Take the lowest low between the two. 
take the manipulated range okay if you're selling short here stop loss above the high we're going to go one standard deviation two standard deviations and did we get it yes we did okay so you can use these macros to catch the intercession move basically all right so that brings me to the end of this one next up in the next video what we'll do is we'll go through the next macro which if i remember right it's 10 50 to 11 10 and then after that it's 11 50 to 12 10 maybe i'm not i'm, I'm not really sure because i don't follow ict stuff yeah so this is for your simplification there it is so this is how you can increase your strike rate in, inside of these very specific windows of time right don't force it when you see the smt then go for it and the preferred approach right the preferred methodology or the preferred approach in taking a buy or sell is to wait until we get that old area of your accumulation redistribution so we can sell short or go long short okay because that gives us that added confirmation that okay you know what there was indeed institutional activity around these areas okay all right guys with that said good luck and good trading i'll see you in the next one Bye bye